Hello everyone, Nishtha this side. Welcome back to our channel. Today we'll be checking out WooCommerce Marketplace platform and we'll be able to check our new plugin that is WooCommerce Marketplace Group by Extension. Basically, by using this extension, the customers will be able to create or join a particular group to purchase a particular product at a discounted price. The admin will also be able to add group buy features to their product and to the marketplace seller's product. The sellers can also be able to add group buy features to their product. Apart from this, the admin can manage the group created by the customers from the backend and can also change the status of the group from processing to qualified or qualified to disqualified. If in any case, the group has been disqualified due to any reasons, the admin can make a refund to the customers as well who has purchased the product. Now, let's move towards our initial configuration part. But before I proceed further, kindly do subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for further updates from our end. And if you do like the video, kindly give it a thumbs up. In today's video, we're going to demonstrate the initial configuration from the admin panel, from where we get to know how the admin will be able to add group by features to their product, how the sellers will be able to add the group by features to their product. And lastly, we'll see the customer's workflow for purchasing the product. Let's move towards our initial configuration part. As you can see, this is the catalog page where you can see all the products. You can see the discounted price and the original price of this product. If there is any active group, you can see here. In this product, one group is active. Once you are clicking on the product, you can see the details regarding the product, like who is the seller, how you can add to cart, and you can see also the descriptions of the product. For purchasing the product, you must be logged in or registered. We'll see the steps related to registering later on. Right now, we'll hop towards our admin panel. This is our admin panel. Here you can see I'm having the details for the demo purpose. The username and password is already there. You just have to log in to the page. Now you can see the dashboard. In the dashboard, on the left-hand side panel, you can see the group by option is there. In the group by option, there are three options are there, products, group by and configuration. Firstly, you have to go to the configuration part. Once you are clicking in the configuration part, you can see this page. Here, there are three options, select your time zone, group count, group by works text. In select your time zone, the time zone will be used for displaying and calculation all time related stuff. In the group count, you have to enter the maximum number of groups that a customer can have in processing state at a time. Further group cannot be created by the customer. In group by works text, the information related to your product you have to enter, which will be display on the product page. After doing all the changes, you have to click on save changes. Then you can see there is an option of product. You have to click on the product option. Once you are clicking on the product option, you can see group by products page. Here you can see all the details like name, seller name, group by price, duration, when it is created, and how many groups are there, how many members have joined, the status of the group. You can even edit the group by clicking on the edit option. And also, you can delete the group by clicking on delete option. If you want to apply any action in bulk, you just have to click here and then you can apply the action. If you want to add a new product, you have to click on add product. Once you are clicking on the add product, you can see this page. Here you have to enter the product name whatever product you want to create a group, group by price, the amount which you want to give the group and the group size, how many members should be there in a group, the duration, the time allowed to join a group 
by the customers. You have to enter the start date, the end date and the status of the group. Then you have to click on the add to group by option. Then you can see the group by option is there. You have to click on the group by option. Here you can see the groups which are already created. You can also manage the group. By clicking on edit, you can edit the group. Like here, you can see the details of the seller and the customer who have joined the group. You can see on the right hand side, on the top corner, choose an action option is there. You can also choose the status of the group manually. Processing, qualified, disqualified, cancelled. And then you have to just click on apply option and the action will be taken for the group. Now let's move towards our channel panel. For that, you need to log out from your admin panel. Here you can see the seller account. For the demo purpose, we are already having the vendor details and the customer details. John Doe is the vendor and Peter Doe is the customer here. You have to enter the username and password, then you have to log in. Once you are logged in, you can see on the left hand side panels, the group by product option is there. You have to click on group by product option. Once you are clicking on group by product option, you can see the group by products. The name, the group by price, when it is created, how much time and the group size. If you want to delete the group, you can click on the delete option. If you want to add the group, you can click on add option. Once you are clicking on add product, you can see this page. Here you have to enter all the details related to your group by product. You have to select a product. Here I am selecting album. And you have to give a price for the group. I am giving 12 group size, the number of participants required to qualify for the group purchasing. I am giving two. The group, the group duration, time allowed to join a group by others after its creation. Two hours, start date and time. The date and time after which the group has been created. The end date, the end date and time after user cannot create a new group. I am giving it 26. Then you have to click on add to group by. Once you are clicking on add to group by, you can see this pop up a new group by product has been added successfully. If you want to edit the group, you can click on edit or click here option. Now you can see the album group is here. You have to click on the product. Once you are clicking on the product, you can see there is an option create group by. You have to click on create group by. Now you, you have to click on view cart. You can see the card details. You have to go for proceed to checkout. Now you can see all the billing details, your order details. You have to choose the payment part, cash on delivery or whatever suits you. You can go for that. Now you have to click on create group by. Once you are clicking on create group by, you can see the details of order received. Now you have to go on my account option. And by scrolling down, you can see the group buys option is there. You have to click on group buys option. After clicking, you can see if anybody has invited, then you can see the pending invites here. And your groups, you can see here the group by product options, the seller name, how many have accepted, the time left that is 1 hours 59 minutes, the status of the group that is processing. Now you can share the group by clicking on share option. Once you are clicking on the share option, you can see two options are there. One you can share the share group by only to those customers you can share who are already registered in the panel. Or you can share by copy, group by link. I'm sharing with my customer whose name is Peter Doe. You can see the name is there. I have to click on the name and then you have to click on share group by option. The group invitation has been sent to Peter Doe. Now 
you have to log in to the customer panel as you can see the customer details are also there you just have to enter the customer details and then you have to log in to the customer panel here by scrolling down you can see the group by option is there you have to click on group by option and now you can see the pending invites on your panel the seller name john store the inviter creator and price how many have accepted the time left that is 1 hour 58 minutes and now you can do action that is accept or ignore here we'll going to accept the pending invite or the group by product invite by clicking on accept you can see the details of the group now you have to click on view cart once you are clicking on view cart you can see the cart details now you have to move towards proceed to checkout now you can see all the billing details your order details and now you have to choose your payment option i am choosing cash on delivery you can go for any of whatever suits you now you have to click on accept group by once you are clicking you can see the details of order received you can also check the invitation of the group from the admin panel for that you have to log out first from your customer account you have to go to your my account option and by scrolling down you can see the log out option you have to click on log out then now move towards our admin panel here you can see the details you have to log in now on the left hand side you can see the group by option is there you have to click on group buys you can see your group that is album and now you if you want to edit anything you have to click on edit option by clicking on edit option you can see this page here you can do any action you can see the status qualified if you want to select any action manually you can go on the right top corner choose an action there you can see the option disqualified once you are clicking on disqualified option you have to click on apply once you apply you can see the refund option is visible now if you want to refund to your customer or to your seller you have to click on refund option by clicking on refund option you can see a pop up here you have to click on refund once you are clicking on refund you can see the details of the order here you have to change the status from on hold to refunded and then you have to update on the right top corner you can see the option is there once you are clicking on the update that refund is successfully you can check by group by option edit option now you can see peter do the money is refunded to peter do if you want to refund to seller as well you can go for the same process you have to click on refund then again refund change the status from on hold to refunded then update the status once you have updated the status you can see from the group by option edit option the money has been refunded to the seller as well as to the customers and still you have to delete the group you can click on the delete option the group will be deleted so that was much about the extension from my end and if you still have any query any doubt or suggestions regarding the extension you can get back to us at support@webpool.com or you can raise a ticket at webpool.uvdesk.com and lastly thanks for watching the video have a good day